Hey guys, it's Cam Boxall coming to you from the SPCA this week. I just want to start off this week first with a little bit of an infomercial, if you will. Uh, with spring being here and summer right around the corner, temperatures are getting very, very high. Just wanted to remind everybody, if you're going to be traveling with pets, it's best just not to travel with pets, especially dogs. We have to attend hundreds of calls every year regarding animals left in hot vehicles. Uh, Every time it takes a staff out on a call, gets them away from the shelter. And of course, worst case scenario, you're risking the lives of your pets as well. It does take very little time for temperatures inside vehicles to double, if not triple. Uh, you may think it's only 20 degrees out. It can be well up over 40 or 50 degrees inside your vehicle. Not very comfortable for an animal to be sitting there. It can take less than 10 minutes for a dog to fall to heat stroke, suffer brain damage, or even worse, death. Uh, we always attend, the RCMP will attend. There's a lot of risks in, in leaving your dogs and vehicles, not just the health of the animal, but of course, uh, you risk vandalism as well as issuing orders from the SPCA and getting the RCMP involved. It is an illegal act punishable underneath the Prevention of Animal Cruelty Act. So just really want to remind the public not to do it. Uh, everyone's been great in contacting us and if not contacting businesses where the vehicles are parked, throw a big shout out to the businesses that have been responding and aiding us in these calls and monitoring the animals until we're able to attend as a lot of businesses are now getting a lot more uh, cooperative and, and helping us with that fact. So make sure if you're the public wanting to call us about the animal, make sure you check with the business the vehicle's parked in front of first. And if you're traveling with an animal, just best to leave the animal at home. Uh, it's in the best interest of everybody involved. That all being said, I do have one wonderful dog here to feature with you guys this week. This is Rocky. He's a one-year-old Australian Shepherd Cross. Very beautiful colors. He does have a bobtail, but he's got a cool pink nose. Uh, he's a neutered male. Uh, the one thing to know about Rocky is he's actually completely deaf. He doesn't hear very well, but he does respond to some hand commands. He's very friendly. We've had him mixed with other dogs. He's very tolerant. Just a, a really great all-around dog. He's got some beautiful colorings. You don't often see a pink nose on dogs. So he is an Australian Shepherd, which are kind of higher demand in energy. So you just want to remember if you're interested in this guy that uh, he's going to take some time, some obedience training, and just a lot of exercise to uh, keep him worn out and uh, learn some more hand commands because he is quite smart and he does respond to some already. So if you think this guy might be a good addition for your home, please come down to the shelter and see us. We'd be happy to introduce you guys. Uh, that's it for this week, and we will talk to you next week. And please remember to follow us on Twitter. Uh, you can like our Facebook page as well, and keep an eye out on YouTube as we do have a page there as well.